What up guys, Kind of GCG here today, doing not so much of a very competitively good video, um, this little cool video idea that I thought of, um, which is my top five favorite decks of all time that I've played. Um, so at number five I have Huntail ho -Oh. um, this was for the black and white to evolution this format, um, essentially you use, would, would use Max Elixir to power up your bench basics. Um, you'd also use Battle Compressor and ho ex to put your ho ex on your bench with three basic fi uh, three basic energy on, and you'd use Huntail to attack. You'd use Ninja Boy for the ho um, to either go into, to, go, to go into things like Jolty on the X, Evil Tall on the X, Lacey on the X, Stardust Jirachi, so I played, I think, five water, two dark, two lightning, um, a steel, and 40 CE or something like that. It was a super consistent and super powerful deck, and I only lost one time with it. Um, I did actually even win a league challenge with the deck, going 3-0, um, even winning against Night March, because Jolty on the X is awesome. Um, unfortunately, I took it apart because Decidueye was becoming a big part of the format, and I just couldn't stop it um, at all. So, yeah. But it was super fun to play, and a weird play style, too. But I really like playing it, so. Next is the hated, the famous Wailord. This was for the Primal Clash through Evolutions format. Um, I think I got like second out of league challenge with this or something like this. So you have a 298 HP tank. This is Wailord with a Fury Belt, by the way. Um, it's a mill deck, but it's not like Houndoom or whatever, where you're using attacks to mill, you're just sitting there to mill. Max Potion was so amazing because, you know, if they do 200 damage to your Wailord, you heal off all 200 damage. Um, you also play a bunch of weird texts. Um, Milos played Lugia, Mancino, Hoot Hoot, Wobba Fett, and Carbink. Lugia EX was is right there, so you guys should know what that does. Mancino was the best option for tool removal, tool removal at the time. Hoot Hoot was item lock card. Wobba Fett was, you know, the same Wobba Fett that's in the club, Wobba Fett, and then Carbink was um, EX, I mean. You play Hammers, and it has an interesting play style because, um, unlike most decks, even unlike most mill decks, um, you want to attack in most decks. I played 40 CE for your tech cards, like sometimes you'll attack with Hoot Dude or Lugia or Mancino, but other than that, you really never attacked and would just use Wailer the entire time. Um, next is, this was a homebrew that I made. Um, this was like my first like semi-competitive deck. Um, it was Lucario Dialga Level X Crobat. Um, I know this is kind of a weird slide because there's four cards, but I couldn't really figure out what cards I would not use. So it's essentially a snipe deck with Aura Sphere and Crobat, um, G, you know, where you play it and you do damage to your opponent. Um, and then Dialga Level X to lock abilities. And then Lucario Level X was really just to give your, get an HP boost and stance. Essentially, for Lucario level X, you want to play it when you're expecting your Lucario to die next turn. Um, you hit Luxor level X for weakness, which was a big, big thing at the time. Um, and then you use Super Scoop Up um, to pick up your Lucarios um, and your uh, Crobat. Um, one thing that was amazing is you would have Lucario on the bench and Lucario level X is almost dead up front. Um, your Lucario would probably have one fire rating energy on it usually. You pick up the Lucario level X, attach one of the energies onto it, and evolve it again, and then it, it's kind of like Galissapod. Um, but back then it was a pretty crazy combo. And this was one of the first, like, sniping archetypes. Uh, or Sphere, I believe, for. It did 40 damage, and I think 40 to the bench for two fighting. Might have been 30. I don't know. But it was a pretty good deck. Um,. I didn't really go to any tournaments, so I don't think I did any like good things at tournaments. But um, so uh, next is Scape. Um, this deck is a deck from um by a player named David Jensen. Um, essentially, Vilify discards uh Pokemon from your hand to do damage, and Execute returns yourself returns itself to the hand from your discard pile. Um, what Lopunny does is. Um, you can put it and the Buneary under it in your hand. Um, so essentially, Lopunny was like, if you got End, 
you could still have Pokemon sort of in your hand to use for Vilify, because you'd have two on your bench. Um, you use Sableye for late game, or when you were running out of Reviles to get, like, you know, to use your items to get them back. And it had a weird, like, combo play style thing, and, like, you reserve your resources, and, like, and it was a really weird deck, but it, um, I believe made top eight at Norwegian Nationals, um, from, from David Jensen. I think it was black and white through Flash Fire. I don't know what the fr I might have been only like next destiny to Flash Fire. I'm not sure what the format was, but number one, this deck is amazing and I love it so much. Mono Genosect. Yes, you read that right. And Mono Genosect. This was a black and white through Primal Clash. Um, standard. By the way, this is a standard deck. Um, I took two first places at a league challenge with this deck. You had one Pokemon, that would be Genesect DX. Uh, essentially, you would mulligan a lot, because obviously you only had one basic. And then you would get a battle report at turn one, I believe I played three, so that, you know, you would get a lot of cards in your hand. And then I played, like, a bunch of hammers. Obviously, G -boost Booster was amazing, um, because it's G Booster. Um, back in the day, that killed everything that was relevant, except for Megan Tangus gone. Red Signal was also awesome. I also played Four Coal Wrist Machine, um, to take advantage of stuff. Um, yeah, this was a super weird deck, um, and you, it's actually a deck that played Potion, and used it well, and played Super Potion. Um, you could, I really beat everything but Pyroar. Um, Pyroar, I just scooped to. You, you can't beat Pyro. There's absolutely nothing you can do that you can beat Pyro. The closest I've gotten is um, three prizes because I was able to um, red signal stall a lot and they bricked and I still lost. But, yeah. Um, so anyway, this is my top five decks of all time or whatever. Um, I'll put the lists in the description, may no. If you guys want a list for any of these specific decks, I will give you the list because I have a list for all of them. But I'm not going to make separate videos on them because that's unnecessary because these decks aren't relevant anymore. Um, but yeah, leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon GG content.